Hello everyone, very good evening and welcome to this live session regarding 5 months current affairs session for the upcoming IBPS PO mains examination. So in this part 5 we are going to deal with the August 2018 current affairs in detail. So how is the preparation going on? We have very few days left for the upcoming IBPS PO mains examination which is scheduled on November 18, 2018. Okay, so shall we see the national news first for the uh, August 2018 hope you can see my screen yes so moving on to the national news of August 2018 so first we shall see national news next international events in India and others appointments awards sports etc so moving on to the national news so first the national news says president has given his assent or signed the bill named Prevention of Corruption Amendment Act 1988. So bribe giving or taking is an offence as per this amendment. It can draw up to the punishment of up to seven years. So this is the amendment which was amended. The original act Prevention of Corruption Act. Sometimes I may act you, sometimes I may ask you when was this actually passed. It is 1980. 8. Parliament has passed criminal law amendment bill providing death sentence for raping girls below 12 years of age. They may ask you what is the years of age. So 12 years. Next Lok Sabha has passed a bill for constitutional status to National Commission for Backward Classes. The amendment number is 123rd constitutional amendment and the article which was inserted was 338B. Okay. So a special article was made for this national commission for backward classes national sports university which is coming up in manipur it was passed by parliament and president also has given his nod so that the national sports university will be coming up in manipur national sports stadium for differently able will be coming up in meghalaya next 76th anniversary of quit india movement has been observed on august 8 2018 so it was started in 1942 so gandhiji has given the call to the british to quit india right what was the slogan given do or die karo ya maro okay next kanchenjunga biosphere reserve has become the 11th biosphere re reserve from India to be included in world network of biosphere reserves which are designated by UNESCO United Nations Education Scientific and Cultural Organization which is headquartered at Paris of France so now India has 11 world network of biosphere reserves okay next Nitish Kumar has launched the Mukhya Mantri Kanya Uthan Yojana which provides 54,000 100 rupees from the birth of a girl to the graduation so recently 25,000 rupees were dispersed for the graduated students and chill birth service has begun in Kerala next moving on to the next national news Andhra Pradesh government has approved unemployment allowance of rupees 1000 per month from the age group of 22 to 35 years unemployed youth it is also called as Mukhya Mantri Yuvanestam scheme next Ministry of Textiles and Ministry of Power have joined hands under the initiative called Sati they may ask you what is the full form what is the full form of it sustainable and accelerated adoption of efficient textile te technologies to help small industries who is the Minister for Textiles Smriti Irani and Power RK Singh Okay, so Sati is an initiative of both Ministry of Textiles as well as Ministry of Power. Next, Santali. This is the one of the official languages of India, one of the 22 official languages of India, which is mentioned in 7th Schedule of Indian Constitution. So, it, it has become the India's first tribal language to get its own Wikipedia edition. Okay, 
Next, Defense Minister has dedicated Husseiniwala Bridge in Punjab to the nation. Husseiniwala Bridge is very famous. It is Britain, sorry, it is built during the British period. So it ha it was damaged. So recently it was revamped by the Defense Ministry. Who is the Defense Minister? Nirmala Sitaraman, and she is from Karnataka, Raj Sabha constituency. And next, Hyderabad has hosted the made international blockchain congress along with goa okay blockchain is a very famous uh, present uh, technology which is used for payments etc a national wildlife genetic resource bank was inaugurated in hyderabad by suresh prabhu the minister for commerce and industry and he is from karnataka raj sabha constituency and food Safety and Security Standards Authority of India has unveiled RUCO initiative. RUCO stands for Repurpose Used Cooking Oil. Okay, so this initiative was launched by FSSI. So FSSI is regarding Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. Its CEO is Pawan Kumar Agarwal, PK Agarwal. Is headquartered in New Delhi, so it has launched to this initiative to collect, convert, and use cooking oil into biofuel. Hope you know what is biofuel. Next, Swachameva Jayate. Generally, we have Satyameva Jayate, right? Swachameva Jayate, the cleanliness campaign was launched by Karnataka government. Next, Mughal Sarai Junction of Uttar Pradesh was renamed as Deen Dayal Upadhyay Railway Station. Okay. So remember this Mughal Sarai Junction of UP was named as Deen Dayal Upadhyay Railway Station. B Hub, the country's first hub for biotech and pharma sector was launched in or coming up in Telangana state. Ankit Fadia, a famous hacker from India, has released his first hacking based novel book called The Casino Job. Next. Our Safety, Our Rights campaign was launched by Amnesty International. Amnesty International is headquartered in Geneva of Switzerland. It, is, it works for human rights. It also received the Nobel Peace Prize. World's first ever high energy storage device has been built up in Amaravati of Andhra Pradesh. First high energy storage device. Okay. And Food Safety and Security Standards Authority of India has set up be Sesikar an expert panel to look into draft labeling regulations. You know, right, what is labeling? Providing the date, year of manufacture, best before, etc. These are called labeling regulations which are used on the general products. Bidder Information Management System BIMS and Bhumi Rashi Public Financial Management System was launched by the Union Road Highways Minister. Nitin Gadkari. Okay, and government has constituted Baskar Ram Murthy Committee to look into JE advanced reforms, which conducts the IIT JE so that they can propose some am amendments or changes to IIT JE examination. A new Chhattisgarh capital to be renamed as Atal Nagar, that is Naya Raipur, will be renamed as Atal Nagar in the memory of late Prime Minister of India, Atal Bihari. Watch by. Okay. UP government to name Bundelkhand Express Way as Atal Path because Atal Bihari Vajpayee has recently died in the month of August. So that's why many states have come up in renaming some places. And Pranam Mukherjee, for the former president of India, has launched the Neta app so that you can rate your politicians. It is a private app. Don't think it is a government app it's a private app hrd minister J prakash javadekar has launched atal ranking of institutions on innovation achievements so they may ask you the full form of ar iia okay so atal ranking of institutions on innovation achievements and innovation cell who is a minister of hrd it is prakash javadekar next so moving on to the banking and finance news for the month of August 2018. Next, 
RBI is to pay 50,000 crore dividend to government for 2017-18 because RBI is owned by whom? Government of India, 100% owned by Government of India. So whatever profit the government gets, RBI gets, it has to pay to the government. And Mauritius, State Bank of Mauritius, like we have State Bank of India, has got the approval from RBI for its subsidiary in India. Right? Next. RBI Governor Ujit Patel has unveiled the UPI 2.0 version. UPI stands for Unified Payments Interface. Okay, it is generally it was developed by NPCI National Payments Corporation of India. Okay, we have the UPI pin which can be used for transfer of funds. And as per RBI report, 99.3% demonetized notes were returned to banks. So they may ask you how much is the percentage? It is 99.3% notes were returned to the banks and first all india rural financial inclusion survey by nabard it was done by nabard national bank for agriculture and rural development and it indicates 88 percentage rural households have savings account only 88 percentage have particular 88.1 percent okay and national highways authority of india has signed an mou with state bank of india for a long term unsecured loan of 25,000 crores. This is the first time in history SBI has given this much loan and it is an unsecured loan. Okay, how much is it? 25,000 crores to National Highways Authority of India. And Commerce and Industry Ministry Suresh Prabhu has launched a mobile app called Niryat Mitra, which favors the industries, particularly the exports related matters. Next. GST Council has announced cashback for digital transaction with up to 20% 20 20 cashback up to rupees 100 for the digital transactions via BEAM. BEAM stands for Bharat Interface for Money, which was launched by NPCI. And Rupee Card is, hope you know it, it, it was also launched by NPCI. USSD mode means the star 9 and ash where you can transfer funds through your mobile even though you don't have any internet you can send money through your basic mobiles also and Vikas Bonanza 456 a new deposit scheme was launched by Karnataka Grameen Vikas Bank okay they may ask you which bank has launched what is the name of the scheme and Federation of Indian Chamber of Commerce and in Industry has launched WOW Wellness of Women for creating awareness on preventive health care Okay, banks have collected 5,000 crore as minimum balance penalty for the fiscal year 2017-18. So this is very important. How much they have collected? 5,000 crores as minimum balance penalty. You have to maintain monthly average balance. What is this monthly average balance? Suppose example, if SBI says you have to maintain 3,000. So that means average of all the 30 or 31 days, I should get 3000. Clear? Understood? Next. National Commission for Women to train 60,000 women across the country through its digital literacy program in collaboration with Facebook. So they may ask you, digital literacy program was inaugurated or started with the help of Facebook. Okay, and SBI has launched MOPAD. MOPAD stands for Multi Option Payments Acceptance Device. Okay, you can pay through QR code, you can pay through UPI like that. This is the Multi Option Payments Device. It was launched by SBI. And SBI has reported a net loss of 4,876 crores for the first quarter. Recently, we have got the second quarter also. How much is it? 945 crores as profit. Okay. This is the recent news. Next. SBI was ranked India's most patriotic brand. Patriotic brand. That means whenever we hear SBI, we feel it is our national brand or national bank and switch to 
chip based debit cards by december 31st 2018 as told by sbi so sbi has told that to its customers to switch to chip based debit cards by december 31st 2018 and punjab national bank get its gets its top rank in digital transaction as per finance ministry report so pnb bank which is most hit by npas particularly nirav modi etc so it has got top rank in digital transactions rajasthan cm has inaugurated the bamasha techno hub for startups in rajasthan okay and yes bank has partnered with rajasthan government to launch payments wallet called bamasha so it will help the bamasha techno hub which is for startup so which bank has helped Yes Bank which is a private sector bank which is based in Mumbai and Reliance Industries Limited led by Mukesh Ambani has become the first company to hit 8 lakh crores market capitalization MCAP okay what do you mean by MCAP number of shares into value of shares that will be the market capitalization and second is TCS first is RIL and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has become the first public sector, public sector enterprise to transact on TREDS, Trade Receivables Discounting System. So it is a recruitment app. So HL has become the first public sector enterprise to use this TREDS platform. And Flipkart has launched two good a new e-commerce platform to ref for refurbished goods used goods refurbished means used goods and google has launched project navleka to help regional publications go online so that the regional languages newspapers can go online through google so project navleka next moving on to the appointments in the month of august 2018 so ICICI Bank has got the RBA nod for Sandeep Bakshi appointment as Chief Operating Officer and he has also become the Chief Executive Officer recently after Chanda Kochar has resigned and Supreme Court has got its 8th woman judge that is Indira Banerjee first woman is Fatima Bibi she is also the f first woman CJA of India And Harivan Narayan is a new Raj Sabha Deputy Chairman. Who is the Chairman? Chairman is Vice President of India, that is Venkai Naidu. And Deputy Chairman is presently Harivan Narayan. Speaker is Sumitra Mahajan. Okay. And Tri Chairman R.S. Sharma, that is Ram Shevak, Shevak Sharma, has got two year extension. And Tri will be renamed as. DCRA Development and Communications Regulatory Authority of India it will be soon renamed as DCRI and RS Sharma is a chairman of TRI. Next Ajay Data has become the first Indian in ICANN. ICANN stands for Internet, Internet Corporation of Assigned Names and Numbers. Okay, so he is the first Indian to enter ICANN and S. Gurumurthy and Satish Marathe were inducted into RBA Central Board of Directors and S. Gopagumar has joined the, as the United Insurance as Director and General Manager. Okay, you know about UICL, right, which is headquartered at Chennai and Micheli Blatchett to be next UN Human Rights Chief, which is headquartered at Geneva of Switzerland. UN Human Rights Council okay Abhinav Bindra was appointed as the International Olympic Committee Athletes Commission member and Rekha Sharma was appointed as the chairman of National Commission for Women National Commission for Women it is a statutory body but not constitutional body Statutory means it has an act of parliament and it is not constitutional. 
Uh, Nanandi Ben Patel has taken oath as the governor of Chhattisgarh. She is the governor of Madhya Pradesh actually. But when Baldaram Ras Tandon has died, she has become the governor of Chhattisgarh. And Ashish Kumar Bhutani has become has been appointed as the chief executive officer of Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana, which is a crop-based insurance scheme. Okay. Ashish Kumar Bhutani was appointed as the CEO of Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana. And G. Satish Reddy, very important appointment. He was appointed as the Secretary of Department of Defense, R&D Research and Development Chairman, that is DRDO. So DRDO Chairman is presently G. Satish Reddy. And Satya S. Tripathi was appointed as the Assistant Secretary General and Head of the New York Office at UN Environment. Goldman Sachs has appointed former RBI advisor Prachi Mishra as Chief India Economist. A new 21-member panel headed by K. Vijay Raghavan was appointed to advise the PM Modi on Science, te Technology and Innovation. ST. IAC. Okay, it is headed by the principal security advice, scientific advisor, sorry, K. Vijay Raghavan. And seven states has got new governor, so it is very important. Lalji Tarnan was appointed as the governor of Bihar, Satyadev Narayan Arya, governor of Haryana, Baby Rani Maurya, she was appointed as the governor of Uttarakhand, Ganga Prasad was appointed as the governor of Sikkim. And Tatakata Roy was appointed as the governor of Meghalaya. Kaptan Singh Solanki made the governor of Tripura. Satyapal Malik was made the governor of Jammu and Kashmir. Okay. And moving on to the events in India, particularly first we shall see the New Delhi events. 10th International Conference on Oral Implant Implantology was held in New Delhi to enhance the awareness of the lat latest innovations and technology in oral implantology. International Buddhist Conclave 2018 was inaugurated by President Kovind in New Delhi. The theme of it is Buddha Path, the Living Heritage. Buddha Path and the Living Heritage. Another events at New Delhi are International Conference on Sustainable Growth through the Material Recycling was inaugurated in New Delhi. India's first biofuel powered flight lands in New Delhi. So it was taken over from Dehradun to Delhi okay it was run through 75 percentage of aviation turbine fuel and 25 percentage of biofuel that's why it is India's first biofuel powered and it was run by Spicejet Bombardier flight Q400 okay this is the name of the flight run by Spicejet from Dehradun to Delhi. This is India's first biofuel powered flight. And Smart Railway Conclave was organized by FIKI, Federation of Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. And other events at other places other than New Delhi, ninth edition of Vibrant Gujarat Global Summit 2019 was scheduled between January 18 to 20 in Gandhinagar with the theme called Shaping of a New India. An international conference on recent advances in food processing technology has been held at IFPT, that is Indian Institute of Food Processing Technology in Tanjavur of Tamil Nadu, with a theme called Doubling of Moving on to the international news for the month of August 2018. Apple has become the first US listed trillion dollar company. So hope you know what is trillion, thousand billion is equals to one trillion. So it is the first trillion dollar company of US. Okay. And Emerson Magangwa has won the Zimbabwe's election. So Zimbabwe its capital is Harare and its currency is 
South African Rand. Okay, so Emerson Magangwe belongs to Zimbabwe and Ivan Duke has sworn in as in Colombia's next president. Colombia's capital is Bogota and its currency is Colombian Peso. And Paraguay has got the new president named Mario Abdo Benitez. So Paraguay's capital is Asuncion and its currency is Paraguay Gaurani so you can easily remember okay next Ibrahim Baubakar Keita has won the re-election as Mali's president Mali's capital is Bamako and its currency is West African or Central African franc. Okay, and Scott Morrison is the new Australian Prime Minister. You know the capital of Australia. What is it? Canberra. Its currency is Australian dollar. So earlier it was Malcolm Turnbull. Now it is Scott Morrison has won the Prime Minister post of. Australia and India was elected as the president of Asia Pacific Institute for Broadcasting Development AIBED and world's first intertidal art gallery opened in the Maldives so it is also called as underwater museum so it was opened in Maldives hope you remember all digital cycladic museum was opened in Tokyo. This is all art digital cycladic museum in Tokyo, underwater museum in Maldives. 24th World Congress of Philosophy was held in Beijing, China for the first time and Vienna overtakes Melbourne as the most livable city in the economic intelligence units global livability index where New Delhi has taken the rank of 112th and Mumbai has taken the rank of 117th and Vienna is the most global livable city as per this global livability index okay next external affairs minister Sushma Swaraj has inaugurated the Panili language laboratory in Mauritius so 11th world Hindi conference was held in Mauritius so that's why this Panini language laboratory was also inaugurated in Mauritius okay and 17th world Sanskrit conference was inaugurated in Vancouver of Canada okay Hindi conference in Mauritius Sanskrit conference in Vancouver of Canada Germany has trumped Japan to boost world's largest trade surplus nation so world's largest trade surplus nation is trade surplus means exports are more than imports so which is that nation it is Germany earlier it was Japan now it is Germany so Japan has taken the second place World Bank has partnered with CBA to issue first blockchain bond called as bond D so name of the first blockchain bond issued by World Bank is bond it is central bank of australia cba external affairs minister sushma swaraj has inaugurated the third indian ocean conference in vietnam its capital is hanoi and its currency is vietnamese dong with a theme called building regional architectures okay they may ask you the theme also the third indian ocean conference was inaugurated in hanoi of vietnam the theme building regional architectures fourth bay of bengal fourth bimstek meeting was held in Kathmandu, the capital of nepal okay and the theme of it is towards peaceful prosperous and sustainable bay of bengal region okay next first sark agri cooperative business forum has begun in Kathmandu. so sark's first agri cooperative business was held in Kathmandu of Nepal and Shanghai Cooperation Organization SEO Peace Mission has been held in Cherbakul of Russia. SEO has eight members 
its headquarters is in not in Shanghai but in Beijing so this peace mission was held in Russia okay and 2018 SCO summit was held in Qingdao of China next moving on to the rankings Delhi has topped the investment potential index and Tamil Nadu has taken the second place and Gujarat has taken the third place so Delhi has stopped in the investment potential index by some survey and Pune has stopped the ease of living index and Rampur of Uttar Pradesh was ranked words that means 111th city out of 111 cities so Pune is the most livable city as per ease of living index next moving on to the science and technology news NASA has launched a Parker solar probe to probe into the corona of Sun so NASA stands for National Aeronautics and Space Administration which is headquartered at Washington DC okay on its historic mission Parker solar probe was launched by NASA to probe into the Sun and Jammu to get North India's first space research center as mentioned by Jitendra Singh and ISRO has unveiled the plan of Gaganyaan program to put Indians into space before 2022 so they may ask you so before 2022 India wants to plan manned flight okay next Chandrayaan 1 data con has confirmed presence of ice on the moon as per NASA Chandrayaan 1 of ISRO that is Indian Space Research Organization has confirm that presence of ice on the moon Chandrayaan 1 spacecraft is of ISRO that is India and NASA selfies app lets you click selfies with galaxy so selfies app was launched by NASA yes NASA chief is Jim Burstone somebody has asked this and moving on to the defense news Maitri Maitri 2018 is between India and Thailand okay and Pacific Endeavor 2018 has started in the Kathmandu of Nepal so this is a grouping of some nations which have come together to conduct their military program and China has successfully tested its wave riders hypersonic aircraft called Zingkong 2 capable of carrying nukes or nuclear warheads and first all women SWAT team was set to take on terrorists by the Delhi government so this SWAT team was launched by Delhi government and Indian naval ship Sahyadri has reached Darwin that is of Australia for exercise Kakadu Kakadu is a national park in Australia so some nations have participated in this defense exercise we have just now studied right Scott Morrison is the Prime Minister of Australia its capital is Canberra moving on to the awards Rajiv Sadbhavana award was given to Gopal Krishna Gandhi okay and president has given outstanding parliamentarian awards for 2013 it was given to Najma Heptullah for 2014 it was given to Hukum Dev Narayan and for 2015 it was given to Gulam Nabi Azad and for 2016 it was given to Dinesh Trivedi and for 2017 it was given to Batra Hari Matlab so how to remember some people may ask so note down the day years just keep some mnemonics Najma Heptullah for 2014 Hukum Dev Narayan for 15 like that okay Najma Heptullah for 2013 Hukum Dev Narayan for 14 15 it is Gulam Nabi Azad like that okay yes pitch black was also happened in Australia Indian Australian Akshay Venkatesh has won the Fields medal which is also called as the Nobel Prize for mathematics so easy Akshay Venkatesh has won this Fields medal which is also called as Nobel Prize for mathematics other prizes in mathematics are Abel Prize etc okay Abel Prize is also given in mathematics and highest is Fields Medal only and Indian origin prison guard Sheshi Chalaya has won the 
Master Chef Australia 2018 and Indian Film Festival of Melbourne winners are Sanju has won the best film award and Rani Mukherjee has won the best actress and Manoj Bajpai has been the best actor okay uh, this is Indian Film Festival of Melbourne and Annie Zaidi has won the Hindu Playwright Award which is given by the famous magazine The Hindu. The Delhi government's additional director of health SK Arora, this is very important because he is a government official. SK Arora has won the World Health Organization World No Tobacco Day 2017 award for his extraordinary contribution towards tobacco control. World No Tobacco Day is observed on May 31st okay and the theme is tobacco and heart disease former army chief Dalbir Singh was awarded with the highest honor of US Legion of Merit next moving on to sports news Gaganjit Buller has grabbed his maiden European Tour title in golf and Badminton World Federation World Championships 2018 winners are in the men's singles. It is Kento Momota from Japan. And in the women's singles, it is Karina Marin of Spain defeating PV Sindhu. She has defeated PV Sindhu in this women's singles of India. And Washington Open Tennis 2018 winners are a men's singles Alexander Zverev from Germany and women's singles it is Svetlana Kuznetsova. So how to remember this? So take tennis news. Okay, take a table or column. What are the Wimbledon, US Open like that and men's singles, women's singles. Write out their names at one place of six or seven months. So that will be useful for you. Sports Minister Rajavadan Singh Rathor has welcomed Webb Ellis Cup on Made in India visit. Webb Ellis Cup is related to rugby. Okay, so they may ask you it may be related to which sport it is rugby. Women's Hockey World Cup 2018 Netherlands were crowned world champions for the record 8th time. They have, they have de defeated Ireland and they have become the winners for the 8th time. Women's Hockey World Cup 2018 and India has won the South Asian Football Federation Under-15 Championship defeating Bangladesh. Next, Asian Games have begun in Indonesian capital Jakarta on 18th August. So, Asian Games were begun, 2018 Asian Games were begun and 2022 will be held in Hangzhou of China. Okay, and Novak Djokovic from men's singles and Kiki Berdens from women's singles have won the Cincinnati title of US. Moving on to the optery, optery means deaths in the month of August 2018, the famous people deaths. Former uh, the DMK chief Drabidi the Munnetra Kalagam, Chief M. Karnanidhi has passed away. Former Lok Sabha Speaker Somnath Chatterjee, V.S. Naipal or Vidyadhar Suraj Naipal. He is a Nobel Prize winning author. He, has, he was born in Trinidad and Tobacco. They may ask you where he was born. Okay, his parents is of or of Indian origin. And Chhattisgarh Governor Baldam Ra, Balram Jit. Thus, Tandon has passed away. So, who was placed? Anandi Ben Patel was given the ad additional charge of Chhattiskar. Okay. Former India captain Ajit Vadekar has also passed away. Bharat Ratna Atal Bihari Vajpayee has also passed away. Former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan has passed away. Who is the present Secretary General? It is Antonio Guterres, right? And veteran journalist Kuldeep Nair has also passed away. And moving on to the important days. 1st August is observed as Earth Overshoot Day. That means because of global warming, Earth is getting overshoot. World Breastfeeding Week is observed on 1st to 7th August. 
Hiroshima days, anti-nuclear days observed on 6th August, National Handloom Day 7th August, Quit India Day very famous 9th August, 76th anniversary all is also called as Kranti Divas or August Kranti Divas. And 9th August is also observed as International Day of World's Indigenous Peoples, Indigenous Peoples Migration and Movement, the theme for 2018. World Biofuel Day is observed on 10th August. This is very important because biofuels are need of the hour because of the fossil fuels will be over after some time or complete after some time. National International Youth Day is observed on 12th August. Remember 12th January is our National Youth Day. Birthday of Swami Vivekananda. And what is the theme of International Youth Day? Safe space for youth. And 15th August, you know, World Photography Day is observed on 19th August. And Humanitarian Day is also observed on 19th August. And World Mosquito Day on which the vaccine for mosquito was discovered by Sir Ronald Ross. On this day. 20th August and National Sports Day is observed on 29th August to honor the famous uh, hockey player Dhyan Chand on his birthday okay so this is about the August 2018 summary for the part 5 so with this I'll complete the five months current affairs revision so we have the September current affairs already on the table so that you can view that September current affairs hope you have enjoyed the session yes thumbs up so tomorrow I'll come I'll be coming up with the refresher session or why most of you fail in general awareness okay so I hope I'll see you at 11 a.m. tomorrow thank you so much for joining I'll see you next time bye prepare well practice well be confident of yourself and don't let you down. Okay? Bye.